Thank you all for being here. I'm Tamara Manasoff, number one Amazon best-selling author and creator of the Author to Income Formula. And welcome to five surprising ways to radically boost your income with your book. I am so excited that you're here. And yes, you can hear me fantastic. I'm so glad. Hooray, hooray. Hey, Lindsay, Carla, Joe, wish I could say hi to everyone. Your names are coming in so quickly. Uh, and I just welcome you from all over the world. We have almost a thousand people registered for this webinar today. And I have so much to share with you that I want to jump in and I'm going to switch over to my slides here in just a minute. But before we do, I just want to say that if you are an aspiring or published author, you're in the right place by being here today. If you're writing nonfiction, fiction, you're writing a memoir or children's book, you're in the right place. Place. And if you are wanting to be traditionally published or self published, or you already are traditionally published or self published, you're in the right place. And whether you're writing printed books or Kindle books or both, again, you're in the right place because most of us are have a story or a message or an area of expertise that we want to powerfully get out into the world. And yet, collectively, as authors, we often struggle with how to sell more books, how to gain visibility, and how to generate consistent and reliable income. So if you've struggled with this and you're ready for a change, type yes into the chat right now. Okay, and I'm going to switch on over. Hopefully, you can refresh your page and get sound. Oh, dear. Refresh. Okay, I'm hoping. Or maybe even... Okay, good. Oh, good. Yes, it's coming in, so you can hear me. Hurrah. Wonderful. You're ready for a change. Let's get into it right now. All right. You should be able to see my slides right now. Okay? Here we go. All right. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on my background, uh, but for those of you who don't know me, I know some of you are on here who do know me, but if you don't know me, I am an expert in marketing and income generation. I am passionate about helping authors and experts build high profit businesses from what you already know. Okay, I am traditionally published with McGraw Hill, as well as I've self published and I've Kindle books, uh, both traditionally and self published Kindle books. And one thing you may not know about me is I was, I had a company where I manufactured consumer products for over a decade and was on QVC, which is a home shopping network, and sold thousands and thousands of products nationwide. So I come to the come to be uh, being an author really from a different point of view. It's really about how are we thinking about our books differently, how are we packaging them differently so that they become powerful marketing tools as well as reaching and serving as many people as possible. Uh, I've had the good fortune of being featured in hundreds of me media outlets over the past decade and uh, here we go. Oops. There we go. And so I want to jump in because this is really about you. I, my intention today is to give you clear, actionable steps. You're going to leave this webinar today having some, maybe some new and exciting things that you can put into practice immediately to start generating income with your book. I'm going to give you five simple income boosters. I'm going to tell you about a special opportunity to work with me on a deeper level. And then I'm going to share with you a hot income booster of how I earned $14,000 extra cash in 72 hours and how you can too. And that is from the content of my book. I can't wait to tell you about that. So I'm going to open it up to Q&A, but this is what I'd like you to do. As we're going through the presentation, 
When you think of the questions, please post into the chat your questions as you think of them so that I can cover as many questions as possible uh, at the end of the presentation. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to show you one of my books hitting number one in all of its categories as well as trending on Google. And I'm showing you this because I want you to know that this is not accidental. It's totally strategic and there are clear steps to take. You just have to know what steps, what to do, okay? And that media builds your credibility as an author and taps into those things that we often struggle with, which is getting more visibility, more book sales and generating income because if we're out there in a more powerful way, then more people are seeing our work and connecting. we're connecting with people. So this is on the top is when I was on the Today Show. Uh, Forbes featured me, also CNN Financial News. Uh, this was also on the Today Show about a decade ago. And then this was just most recently on CNBC and they asked me to do three TV segments all based on the content of my book. And the reason why I'm sharing that with you is because you absolutely can achieve this too. And I say that with all my heart because I actually am more introverted and I know that a lot of authors are and I never sought the media spotlight, but I soon realized that this is one piece of this strategic puzzle in magnifying your message and, and getting your word out powerfully and building your author platform. So when I first launched my books, little happened. And I say little, I mean like almost nothing happened. Okay, it was quiet. Has this happened to anybody else? Or do you worry about this happening to you? Where you've put all this time and effort into, type yes into the chat. If you put all this time and effort into publishing your book, you, 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 after your parents and your family and friends bought your book, really nothing happened or very little happened. And it can be very disappointing. Has this happened to you? Type yes into the chat if this has happened to you. Well, this happened to me. And yes, thank you for being honest. Yes, Keith. Yes, Hannah. Yes, Carrie. Yeah. And it's so disappointing because you've put so much time and, and care into it and you're wanting to, to really lift people up and share information that's going to help them or a story. Thanks, Poppy. Yes. Richard. Risa. Yes. Yes. Elma. Yes. And so it, it's like, how can we sh make a shift? So it, whether it's happened to you or you're worried about it happening or you've launched and you're like, you're thinking about relaunching, you're, you don't want that to ever happen again. What shift needs to happen? So let me go back here. Okay. So let me just first say this, that a shift does need to happen because over 4,500 books are published daily. Printed books are published daily on Amazon. And I'm not saying this to depress you. I'm saying this to inspire you that in order to stand out from all of these books that are being printed daily on Amazon, we need to think about strategically how you're going to stand out, how your book is going to stand out from all the rest. And oftentimes, you know, here we put all of our time and attention into writing our book. Uh, and then suddenly we realize, oh my gosh, wait a minute, I, how do I create a, a powerful author platform and how do I make my book interactive? I've heard of people talking about that, but I have no idea how to do that. How do I become an Amazon bestselling author and get featured in the media spotlight and choose the right tools without spending a fortune and boost your income fast and make money beyond the book, a, really about building consistent and reliable income. So these were the questions that I had, right? You know, here you focused all this attention on your book and then you're suddenly aware that, oh my gosh, I have to worry about all these other things and it can really feel overwhelming. So that's why I created the Author to Income Formula and it's really about six simple interconnected strategies. So the first is to create a powerful author platform. Well, how do you do that? You create that through engagement and interaction and interactivity, which I'll talk to you about in a little bit. You become an Amazon bestselling author, which triggers getting featured in the media spotlight. And all of this is tied together with income. And I'm, again, I'm going to share really our focus today is 
to talk about income boosters or bear, back, scratch the surface. I'll give you as much as I can in this short time. And then the simple text tools to use so that we don't feel overwhelmed and stressed. And I've come up, I have the most cost effective tools to use to save time and money. So I do want to talk about this interactive strategy as it totally and directly relates to making money. And then we'll go dive straight into the income boosters. So as you well know, people are watching video and they're digesting information today differently than they ever have before in the past. And you well know these numbers. Uh, YouTube has over a billion users. And amazingly, Facebook, with Facebook Live, has now over 8 billion daily video views. That is astounding. And then this is a really interesting uh, stat from Forbes saying that videos increase people's understanding of your books, products, programs or services by 74%. That is amazing, by 74%. So what does this have to do with your book? Well, it has everything to do with your book because adding video to both your printed book and your eBooks is going to create a deeper level of engagement with your readers. When they see you on video, they say, oh my gosh, uh, there he is. He, he's so kind and he's giving me so much helpful information. It's, it's transformational when people can connect with the author directly from your book. It also makes your content more interesting. Okay. We have our books, which are on, you know, ink on and printed in a book. But now with video, you're, you can come to life within your book. And this creates an entire, entirely deeper connection with your readers. It also is a way to use your book to continuously drive tra traffic back to your website, to your freebies and your sales pages. And for example, most everybody today doesn't go anywhere without your phone, right? Most of us have our phones with us all the time. And so by making your book interactive, and with people having their phone present right there with them, you can connect with your reader right on the spot, right on their own phone. So for example, I used over 50 videos in my book, The Mom Adventures Handbook, and the result was unbelievable. It, total engagement and generating income. It was just wild what transpired from that, from making the book interactive. So let me tell you first why this is happening. And it's because you get to create this emotional connection. So your reader is thinking intellectually from their head. They're thinking, oh my gosh, I need to gather information on how to deal with my challenging teenager and I need to find information now. So they're gonna go onto Amazon and search with how to talk to your teenager. This is an example. So then they pick up a book and in it, the author has given some phenomenal parenting tips right there, speaking directly to the reader. So not only is the book filled with helpful information, but now the reader is going, oh my gosh, that the author just gave me such a helpful tip. I'm going to put that into practice right now. Or this can be sprinkled with videos with personal heart uh, heartfelt stories that trigger emotions in the reader and then trigger new pathways of thinking in the reader, which then can lead them in all different ways in their life, inspire them, uh, whatever it is that your area or your topic is geared to do. So you're touching your reader on an emotional level. Nothing thrills me more than when I get reviews, and this is when I launched my Mom Inventors Handbook, talking about the videos. So love the included videos, says Carlton. And this one says, uh, first time, the first book I've come across that utilizes web technology the right way in digital version. And this one says, Nelson says, I have read four books on this subject and hers is the, the best. She provides videos and many links to resources that I have been searching for a while. I am a new fan. And this one says, uh, it is filled with such useful and valuable information. The personal and interactive stories of the entrepreneurs in the handbook make this book so unusual. So it's 
powerful and people are writing about it in re their reviews. So how do you make your book interactive and turn it into a marketing tool that drives people back to your website, which is the center of the universe, okay? So the way that you do this, if your book is one dimensional and now we're using it, we're filling it with videos, we can introduce our video, and our, our chapters on video and drive people, these videos all reside on your website. Okay, so everything that you're putting inside your book is taking people back again and again to pages on your website. And here you can include the videos of others. I'm going to give you some examples in just a minute. You're going to use QR codes for the printed book. And again, I'll show you what that means. And you can even from YouTube drive people back to your to the web pages you want them to go to. And you can include audiobook, and we can talk about that as well. But we're mostly going to focus on video right now. And you can put your irresistible offers all within your book, driving people back to your back to the pages that you want them to see. So one of the ways that you can do this is you can add a QR code, which stands for a quick response code. And what I did is I put branded codes every time there were videos from me so that my readers quickly learned that when they saw my brand in a code, they're like, oh, it's a message from Tamara. And on the back cover, I put a QR code introducing my book and what my readers were going to learn and get from reading my book. Okay, these QR codes are linked to videos that reside on your web page. Okay, this is how I teach in my Author to Income Formula class. I actually show you exactly the step-by-step -step how to do everything. So what you do is you put a QR code in your inside your book and then your readers will just have an app that they download, a free app on their phone from the App Store. And then when they hover over the code, the video pops straight onto their phone and they can watch the video message from you. So what I do is I kick off and I encourage my authors to kick off each chapter by telling your readers what is what they're going to learn or what the result they're going to get from reading the chapter. And it can be a 30 second video that is just a way for your readers to get to know you. It's like you're taking your reader's hand and you're guiding them through the chapters of your book. And it really builds powerful trust between you and your reader. Now, always, I always put the link as well to the web page that holds has the video, but this is the, the code that they can scan. And then I also encourage you to include other people in your book. And what I did with this book with the 50 uh, QR codes is I encouraged my entrepreneurs who were featured in the book to share a heartfelt story, share the challenge that they had to overcome with starting their business to share a success success that they had had. I also encourage them to share something that surprised them about starting your business and a piece of aspiring uh, advice, excuse me, as, advice for aspiring entrepreneurs. So I asked them these heartfelt questions. Now, I didn't have them promote their businesses, but I did put the link to their website so that the authors, or excuse me, the entrepreneurs in the book could benefit. But also, I made sure that all of their videos resided on my web pages. So again, your website's the center of the universe. Every single QR code is linked to a video on your website. Then having an opt-in for a gift on your website, you start to see the opt-ins rolling in directly from your book. Another idea for you in terms of making your book interactive is to include other experts. So I was often asked legal legal questions, but I wanted to have a lawyer answer these questions. And so I invited a lawyer to answer six different questions of the most commonly asked questions that would have cost people about $300 an hour to contact an attorney, sprinkled them throughout my chapter on law, uh, legal issues to think about with business. My readers went wild over this. In fact, uh, John received so much business that he actually had to start turning people away. So it's a benefit for your experts, it's a benefit for your readers, and it's a benefit for you. 
So now let's get to the income boosters. So tied in with including other people inside your book with video is creating loyal book ambassadors. Think about it. Those 50 entrepreneurs that I included in the book, now they go out and they're telling everyone that they're featured inside your book. And their stories are compelling and engaging. So what, in, what happened for me when I launched, I had over 10,000 readers, 10,000 scans to those QR codes within the first week of my book launch. This tied to me hitting number one on Amazon and gained extensive media coverage because when you have a loyal book ambassadors inside your book telling everyone about their story inside your book, they're mentioning your book every single time and it is just phenomenal what kind of engagement uh, you can create with your book. And here are some of them right now. They're so proud to be in the book. And uh, one of the things I did also is I encouraged them to reach out to the media. I provided them with a free press release that they could fill in with their own information. And it just made it so easy for them to send it off to their, their local media. And many of my entrepreneurs uh, benefited from getting featured in the media as well. It's really awesome. Money booster number two. One thing you might want to consider is if you have an expert that really adds to the content of your book, uh, allow them to uh, offer up tips and bonuses and information and even put a freebie in there. Uh, invite them to provide a video in your book telling them about, uh, you know, giving, offering tips or information that would be helpful to your readers. And one of the things that you could consider doing is let's say that your expert had an awesome program that you're like, oh my gosh, I've taken that program or a lot of my students have taken the program and a rave about it. So you can put an affiliate link. This is an affiliate link that now when your readers scan that code and they go and if they are to sign up for the program, that you would earn a commission on that on that. And you would just write in your text that this is a partner that you are have partnered with. So this is a really creative way to offer your readers more information as long as it's true and consistent with really helping them. And uh, you know, it's consistent with your content. You can also have sponsorships, meaning if there are uh, businesses that would be helpful to your readers uh, that offer up different, you know, forms or, you know, uh, information that would be beneficial, you could actually charge for them to include a coupon inside your uh, inside or a coupon or an offer or something of that nature inside your book. Money booster number three. If you have not done this, I hope that you'll do this right after this webinar. And that is that you want to immediately sign up as an affiliate on Amazon. That's the link right there. And you can, and when you're promoting your own book, use your own affiliate link. So when you're posting your book on social media, when you put it on your website, when you send it out via email, use your affiliate link because then you'll earn an additional 4% on every sale. This is probably the fastest way that you're gonna make money right now. And it takes about two minutes to fill out this form and then you're good to go. So just consider how amazing this is that this is some way you can start generating income immediately. The other funny thing that you may not know and is that when you offer up your affiliate link, and somebody, let's say on social media, clicks on it and goes to Amazon to look at your book. Whether they buy your book or not, Amazon considers that a buying session, which means that whatever that person buys while they're on Amazon, you earn a percentage of those sales. So the reason why I have a vacuum cleaner is because one time, when I didn't realize this at first, but I saw a vacuum cleaner on my affiliate sales. I'm like, wait a minute, what? And someone had bought my book and then bought a vacuum cleaner. And so I just want you to know that that is an incredible way uh, to generate income right away. 
Another thing you can do is when you are recommending books or products that you absolutely love and believe in to your clients or customers, then you can use an affiliate link as well because that will benefit the person you're recommending the book to or the product to it re and it benefits you as well so it's a win-win including the author that you're suggesting that they buy their book so it's really a win for everyone so keep in mind that whenever you're whenever you're recommending any sort of books or products you can use your Amazon affiliate links as well so this is one of the number one opportunities that most authors miss. This is Money Booster number four, and it is so important. So inside your Kindle book is, and this is a beautiful thing about Amazon, is the look inside feature. Right after your title page, even before your table of contents, you can put an invitation from the author where you are giving away three different gifts. And those gifts are all linked to opt-ins so that you can capture people's name and email. The reason why this is so incredibly powerful is because when people purchase your book on Amazon, you don't know who they are. You don't know, you cannot contact them, you don't have their email. But with this look inside feature, if you put in an invitation with live links, amazingly, the links work from the look inside feature and you can immediately capture people's names and emails and they download your free gifts and then you can start to nurture that relationship with them. So this is truly the number one opportunity that authors myth, miss that I hope you uh, take advantage of immediately. It is so powerful. Money booster number five is to create a membership site. Now, the reason why I say this is because many of us are nonfiction authors and we have a lot of knowledge, expertise, and information to share. And if you do, you can create a membership area that has special information that you're not including in your book or anywhere else, but where it really is at added value for your members. So imagine that your your membership is, let's say, $27 a month, and you get 100 people to join your membership. We're talking about creating consistent and reliable income. Imagine having $2,700 a month just from your membership area at $27 a month. That's pretty powerful and doable. And so what I do is I put high value members only information. So for example, like I put media contacts. So if you want to get your book featured in Oprah Magazine, then here is the contact information for the editors, their email address. I have the, I give the email configuration. What does that mean? It means that if you were to look up, let's say a specific editor that you wanted to reach out to, you would know that it'd be first name, last name at hearst.com. And then I've put the editors, some editors here already. And then I also give you the editorial calendar, which is so important. So with the editorial calendar, what that means is magazines plan their issues of their magazines an entire year in advance. They do this for advertisers. So if you have a book that you think is going to be perfect for one of these issues, then that is a perfect way. So you each each month is a different theme, okay? And you go and you pick and see which book, which theme makes perfect sense. So like one of my author to income students uh, just published Made to Thrive, and her book would be perfect for June. You know, what do you believe in? Uh, it could even be okay, good for May. It says, am I a good person? Okay. Uh, if you have a book on eating, there's a whole issue on eat, on food in in July. Now, the point in telling you this is that now you can go back to the editor and you can say, hey, uh, and I, I have an email template, by the way, in the members area, and it's fill in the blank, and you can just say the title of your book, one sentence about what it's about and why their readers will love it, and hey, it's perfect for the June issue. And the reason why that's so important is that editors are so busy that you don't want to uh, have them, you know, just say, oh gosh, which where would it go? You've already done the work for them. Hey, it's perfect for your readers in the June issue. And you're much more likely to get a positive response. 
So let's do a recap of our money boosters. Uh, money booster number one is to create loyal book ambassadors by featuring other people on video inside your book. And you can also do audio with a picture of them and an audio, but video, as you know, is so powerful to connect. Uh, money booster number two is that you want to consider putting other experts in there. Now with a lawyer, it just, I just, it was so valuable. There was no affiliate links or anything. The lawyer was, I just knew that that would add so much value to the chapter for the reader so they didn't have to hire a lawyer, that it was a huge hit. So make sure that you're thinking, hey, you know, what are your clients asking you for? What type of information would be helpful? And you can uh, create those partnerships, those joint venture partnerships uh, with other people or reach out for sponsorships. Money booster number three is to make sure that you sign up as an Amazon affiliate for your own book and also for other products and books that you're recommending to others so that you can start benefiting uh, from those sales. And money booster number four, again, do not forget the prime real estate with that look inside feature. So after the title page of your book, you wanna make sure that you have, I put three opt-ins because I wanna make sure that one of my three gifts is something that's gonna interest someone. So I, you know, one is like a checklist. Another thing is like a, you know, a simple step-by-step -step guide. Another thing is like a little video Video tutorial so really spice things up with your gifts so that you'll attract different types of people to opt in okay money booster number five is consider creating a membership site based on information that you already know and have that is high value to your readers okay and in just a moment I am going to tell you about your hot bonus uh, money booster, how I earned $14,000 extra cash in 72 hours and how you can too. And But I'm hoping with these income boosters that you are starting to see the possibilities. Type yes into the chat if you are, you know, if you're surprised, but in fact, tell me which money booster like really surprised you or you're like, oh my gosh, got to do that immediately. Uh, type that into the chat. Okay, yes, I, there's a question, Joan. Okay, good, Marcus. Joan, I see your question, and I will definitely answer that. And I'm gonna answer it right now, because I want you to be thinking. This is for people who are writing a book, and these are people, I have many, many, yes, 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 I'm loving it. Great, hooray, the Amazon, great ideas, video, look inside feature, yeah, I know, Linda, isn't that exciting? Amazon affiliates, yes, number three. Yes, okay, awesome, okay. Okay, I'm so excited. Lydia says three and four. Yeah, Dan's prime real estate is, it is so incredibly powerful. Okay, I'm loving it. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I just wanted to answer that one question. I know I'll leave more questions to the end, but the question is, is this really for people who've already launched the book? First of all, you can relaunch your book and have much better success. I have so many authors in my Author to Income Formula training who are relaunching because they didn't get the sales results that they were hoping for. They realized things have changed and as authors, we have to shift the way we are communicating so that we reach our readers where they are, okay? Through video, social media, like we have to make the shift. We can't expect our readers to make that shift. So this is really powerful and, uh, and so, it is absolutely relevant to if you're writing a book or if you're relaunching your book, you can take your current book and if you've self-published, you can go back and put videos and sprinkle all these opt-ins and videos throughout. So, and then of course, everything you learn from me, you, you I learn here, you are gonna be able to apply to any future book that you write, okay? So I hope that that answers your question, okay? And I, I will get to all your questions. I'm seeing them coming in and I wanna stop, but I'm gonna keep on going so we get through everything and then I promise I will answer all of your questions. There are wonderful questions coming in. So let me jump back quickly. I'm gonna tell you quickly about my upcoming Author to Income Formula training. Then I'm gonna tell you about the hot bonus tip of how I earned $14,000 and how you can too. And then I'm gonna answer every single question that you put out there for me. 
I have a new live eight week online training that starts on Tuesday, February 27th. We meet for eight weeks and I walk you through and I show you. This is for the not so tech savvy, okay? These are, this is where I actually show you hands on how to set everything up and create this powerful author platform. I walk you through. When you get through my course, you have knowledge. It, it, it reshapes your entire way in which you approach your book and any future book that you ever will write. So let me just quickly tell you, all right? First four weeks, we're gonna talk about, it's really your setup for success, and we're gonna talk about in module one is how to create a profitable, author platform so that you become the go-to expert in your area of expertise. If you're a fiction author, then you, it's so that you are a well-known figure in your genre. In module number two, which is right here, turn your readers into loyal fans, this is where I teach you how exactly how to make your books interactive. I teach you, I take all the fear out of the technology, I break it all down, and I show you exactly how to do this so that you stand out from those 4,500 books that are printed daily. Kindle books, are, the number is much higher than that. Uh, but I asked them and they wouldn't share that information with me. Um, but this is how you can stand, stand out from everyone else. Module number three is I teach you four specific proven strategies that work again and again and again for me and my authors. And this is for hitting number one on Amazon, which will give you the desired authority and credibility in your area of expertise. Module number four is I teach you insider scoop for getting featured in the media spotlight. I have been featured in every major a news outlet and many, many magazines and also local media. Uh, and I teach you exactly how to do this so that TV producers and magazines will book you again and again. I have been on these shows multiple times. I teach you how to find the producers. Yes, even how to find their email. I, as you see, I give you a fill in the blank template uh, so that you can contact them and so that you can magnify your message and reach your audience so powerfully uh, because it just is possible when you are on, on TV or featured in uh, the print media or even online media. With module number five, this is where we start to focus on money. I'm gonna teach you all different strategies for making money with your book and business. And like today, we just barely scratched the surface. I have so many different ways. And I teach you all these different ways and then you're gonna pick and choose the strategies that make the most sense for you. And then in module six, we talk about marketing tools. And again, I show you the most cost-effective and simple tools to use to get your message out. And again, it's for the not so tech savvy. If you're a tech whiz, that's great. But I'm assuming that you need support with understanding how to use these tools. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use them. Okay. Module number seven, we're going to talk about email automation and lead generation tools. Basically, how are we going to build our list so that we can powerfully connect with our audience? And how do we create those funnels? I'm going to teach you how to create video funnels where you're gonna take people in and walk them through to all of your products, programs, and services. And this is, it's, it sounds like a lot of technology, but I break it down and I make it really, I actually make this fun. <laughs> so module number eight is social media. And I teach you how to pick and choose the best social media for your business and also how to save time because I know that for many of us, we think, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do it all? My goal is to teach you how to hand and pick the best social media for you and your book, where your audience is spending their time. And then I teach you how to use social media as a tool to drive people back to your book, your products, programs, and services so that you can start generating consistent and reliable income. Okay, let me just quickly share a story with you. This is Katie Anna, and she says, I'm a believer after months of my books collecting digital dust on Amazon, there was movement. Watch my two books go from 9584, the 9,584 uh, in death and grief categories to number one in 24 hours. Tomorrow, this is the God shot I needed. The thing that was so amazing about this story with Katie Anna is that she 
who was following along during my class, my author to income class, and she had her screen up. And as I was teaching and showing, she was clicking on the buttons and she relaunched those books following my steps. And then she was number one by the next day. Incredible story. This is Bridget Engel, and her goal was to use her book as a marketing tool to drive people to sign up for her guidance to go retreats in Hawaii because she loves Hawaii and she wants to be there as much as possible. And she has successfully done this and sold them out again and again. She said, I've been blown away by tomorrow's author to income program. I am not a technical whiz, but the power and simplicity of the program has made me feel liberated and victorious. I have never felt so excited about the potential for my book and business, Bridget Engel. And lastly, uh, this was awesome, MJ Margraf. She was featured in Oprah Magazine with her book, Finding the Wow. And she said, I am following your step-by-step -step methods and I just realized that every good thing that is happening with my book is linked to you. I hit number one with my launch. I just found out that I'll be featured in Oprah Magazine. Your, author, your author to income program has made all the difference in how my new book, Finding the Wow, is taking off. I can't thank you enough. Your program is worth every penny. And so the program is 1997 for eight weeks live online. And I walk you through each one of these modules and steps and you also have access to all the replays. I never take them away, but I am there with you throughout this class. I love teaching this class. The early bird pricing right now is $9.97, and you can also have a five pay option of $229.40. And you can sign up with this link at tomorrowmonosoft.com forward slash live class. Let me see if I can pop that into the chat right now. Hey, Stevon. Okay, and I didn't know you were here. I'm so glad you're here, Stevon. Stevon has taken my class. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so so happy you're here, Stevon. Okay, so let me just type this in right now so you can go straight there. And it's just tomorrowmonosoft.com forward slash live hyphen class. And you'll see right there. And also, I think, I don't know if you can see this. I'm fairly new with this new webinar jam, but I'm going to publish this offer right now and see, and let me know if you can see that offer. Type yes in the chat if you can see that. Did it pop onto your screen? That would be awesome if it did. If not, you can just use the link I just put into the chat and it's tomorrowmonosoft.com forward slash live hyphen class. And you can go ahead and join me for this eight week class. I would love to have you. Okay, let me just tell you about these fast action bonuses and then I'm gonna tell you about my hot bonus of how I earn $14,000 extra cash. Give me just a couple of more minutes. Uh, this is an eight week live training online. You're gonna have access to the video replays 24 seven. I never take them away. When the class is over, I never take them away. I know that life happens and so I want you to know that you have access to that. Your fast action bonuses is I'm gonna give you three months free access to the Author Success Hub, that my membership area with all my magazines, editorial, calendars for all of those different magazines and also it has the editor's contact information i have how-to videos resources templates it, it is an awesome amazing place to be so just saying you'll have three months free access you're going to get my author to income digital workbook and master cheat sheet the master cheat sheet are all the resources that i share in the author to income formula training so that you have a sheet as cheat sheet with everything all in one place Okay, I'm also going to give you my video script template to introduce your book on video. A lot of people think, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? How am I going to introduce my book on video? I have actually a fill in the blank template. It works. My authors use it successfully again and again. I have an amazing tool called the Author Income Generator Planning Template and a sample. I have one filled out for you. You can use everything I have on there. Uh, just use it. And it is a tool that I use consistently and my authors love it because it gets you really focused about what you're going to accomplish in terms of generating income. I have my countdown to book launch template. I have a calendar to show you how to count down uh, it, to be prepared to get your book to number one on Amazon. I have the most fantastic author to income private Facebook group. I love my group and we are extremely active in there. 
tons of support. I'm in there all the time answering questions. So you're never alone and you are going to be blown away by the camaraderie and sharing inside that book, inside that group. I'm also giving away my self-publishing success secrets, and that is available on my website at full price right now, but you will get that for free, and that's where I teach you how to upload your book to CreateSpace, how to upload your book to Kindle, and many more things uh, around publishing. So that book is at full price, uh, that program is full price on my site, but you will get it for free when you sign up for the Author to Income live training. And lastly, you will get my Coffee with Tamara, which is every single month without fail. I join you on live on camera for 30 minutes. You can ask, ask me anything that you want. Even though I'm in the Facebook group all the time, it's nice to see for you to jump on. We jump on Zoom so we can be face to face on camera and you can ask me anything that you'd like. So I'd love to have you. And so here is the link right here, tomorrowmonosoft.com live forward slash live hyphen class. Okay, and then this is what happens when you click on that link. You're gonna see this and you just click on yes, I want in. And finally, I have a 30 day money back guarantee. If you are not totally satisfied or feel that I have delivered everything or beyond uh, in my class, you will get your money back at, for 30 days and I will not ask you any questions. And I feel totally confident that you're gonna be blown away by what you learn in this program. All right, so let's talk about our hot bonus money booster. I want you to give yourself the freedom to experiment, okay? One of my chapters in my book was how to sell consumer products to retailers in the US. And it was really hard to find the retailer's information, like the uh, contact information. And it was extremely time consuming to try to find these people. They were, you know, vice president of merchandising or they were called category buyers. And I needed this information. I knew my readers needed this information too. I was telling them how in my chapter, how to get into retail stores, but I, I knew that they need these, these, the, the names and contact information for buyers, consumer, uh, buyers. And so this is something I had struggled with and, Finally, I just thought I'm going to try something. I'm going to experiment. And I went to this website, Brick, Brick Work India, which is a virtual assistance site. It's a woman owned business. They've received, received international awards. And I thought, well, I sent them a request and I said, Hey, up here are the 150 top retail stores in the United States. And I'd like to con get the contact information for the for the buyers and the vice presidents of merchandising so that my readers can easily get access to these buyers. And I said, how much would it cost for you to put this together? And they said $300. And I thought, oh my gosh, $300? Okay, what's the worst thing that could happen? The worst thing that could happen is I could lose $300. And the best thing that could happen is that I could sell this list to my readers as an add-on to my book. And so I did, I got the list, I cross-checked everything, the work was beautifully done, and I sold the list for $47, I sold 298 copies, and I earned $14,000 in 72 hours. So what I want you to do is I want you to be thinking about what you, what content you have, or think about what your clients or readers are always asking you for that you think, gosh, yeah, that really would be helpful, but it's like too much work to put it together and consider reaching out to Brickwork India or another, you know, VA company to put something like this together so that you could sell it as its own product that is an add-on to the content of your book. So I hope that you like that tip and I'm going to jump. First of all, let me just quickly jump on camera really quickly stop the slide presentation hey so i hope that you are excited about everything that i've shared with you today and so let me jump in i want to answer as many questions as possible and so i'm going to jump over to the chat but i just wanted to say yay i'm so happy that you're you're here and let me know if you have any questions about the author to income formula training but let me jump in and i'm going to jump off camera really quickly and, and then I'm gonna go through the chat and answer as many questions as possible. All right, 
So here we go. And I will go ahead and put that slide presentation back up so that if you are, let me see. Okay, yeah, and I'll just put this back up. Let me know, I can just go ahead and put this up if you're considering the program, so make it really easy for you to see the link. Okay, let's jump in right now. All right, I'm gonna go down to the beginning and here, okay. Lindsay says, hey Lindsay, what would life's big question mean with regard to knowing if it fits for your book? like Oprah Magazine. So they, you know, that's a very good question, Lindsay. They leave it vague, don't they? So you just have to think if you're, you just have to read their themes. And I imagine that they, they leave their themes for magazines pretty broad so that they have choices in terms of what they feature. So if you're, if, if indeed you're, and I'm just gonna pop right on camera. There we go. If you think that your your book is a fit into life's big picture, then just go for it, right? Just throw it out there because magazines and media are desperate for people. I mean, you, we really don't think about that way as an author. We're like, oh, who am I? Are they going to like it? You know, all these things that we worry about. But the reality is that the media is hungry for information. They have to fill in 24 hours a day. They have so much need. And so why not you, right? So think about just putting yourself out there. So if you find a theme in the editorial calendar that is just like, you know, that's interesting. It might be a fit. Go for it and tell the editor, hey, I believe this my book is a perfect fit for your June issue. And just put it out there. And and that's really the way to get this all going and, and to really kind of step out maybe of your comfort zone and just and just be willing to put yourself out there. Great question. Okay, Nicole says you can use audio but make expert video with their picture or or book picture. Yeah, so you could even use, uh, you can record your screen if you wanted to. You could just put a uh, picture of you or whatever picture you want. And I know if you're on a Mac, you can use QuickTime, you can use Zoom. Uh, there are lots of tools, screencast, screen flow. There's lots of ways to record your screen and you can just record. Oftentimes it'll say, you know, record audio only and then you can just record an audio. So if you want to be off camera, you can be and you, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, Nicole says, if anyone need a lawyer as a legal expert for money booster number two, my email. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Joan says, uh, most, if not all of these seem to apply to books that are in the process of being written. Okay. I answered that question earlier, Joan. Um, any hope for those of us who already written our books? Is there anything other than relaunching the book that will work? Well, if you've self-published, it's actually not that difficult, right? Because you've got the manuscript. And then you would include the, if you're doing the Kindle version, you don't need QR codes, okay? Kindle version, you just need links that you have your videos. Let's say you've recorded your videos, you've put them each on a page of your website, and then you would, then what you do is you would just put those links in your Kindle book. For a printed book, you have to have a, I mean, it's a piece of paper. So you have to put your codes, like here's my code, it's very light in here. So but anyway, I've got a code here. I've got codes all throughout this book. It has to be printed and put into your manuscript. Like here's an example right here. It's got to be printed and put into your manuscript. So yes, you have to be willing to work with your manuscript and to make it interactive. And then you can re-upload it to CreateSpace if that's what you're using, or you can upload it, re-upload it to Kindle. Okay. And let's see. Okay. Okay. Oh, Elma says all of these money boosters are new and exciting. Yay. Okay. And then Harold says, is this for Amazon only ebooks as well? And this is for Harold, this is for any ebook book. The reason why I said Amazon is because Amazon has that beautiful look inside feature. So I put those gifts even inside my printed books. So because, and with a, with a live link, like go to, you know, tomorrowmonosoft.com forward slash and then put whatever it's, you know, gifts or whatever it is. And you can print that in your book, your printed book as well. Uh, but the beautiful thing, and you can put it in any type of ebook. Like let's say you're not selling it on Amazon. 
and you're selling it somewhere else, you could put that inside of any ebook. But the difference is, is with Amazon's look inside feature, that is the only way to capture people's names and emails directly from Amazon which is powerful because then you can start nurturing those people and giving them, you know, a free webinar, free gifts, and then, you know, invite them to come to your class or program or retreat or workshop, whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. Uh, okay. So Richard says, can I use Ingram Spark on my book page that comes directly to me? Yeah. I mean, why not? Right. I, I, I don't, work with Ingram Spark. So, uh, but these, these things can all be modified, right? It's really about connecting with your reader. <clears throat> so and the whole idea here is to make your book interactive so that <clears throat> you can connect with your readers on a deeper level so that you can engage them and capture their name and email. So you're building your list at the same time. Okay. So, and then Deborah says, how can this work for fiction? This is really fun, actually, for fiction. And so what you can do, let me take a sip of water. For fiction, you can jump in. And, you know, for me, I love fiction. So uh, I write nonfiction, but I read fiction. And so I love going to, the first thing I do is go to about the author page because I want to know about the author. And imagine that now you spring to life from your author page on video and you say, thank you so much for picking up this book. And I was inspired to write this book when I was on this on my trip to Guatemala and this happened and the other thing happened and I, I the story you know instantly came into my mind. Okay, I'm making it up. But if I heard the author tell me what inspired them to write the story, I'd be so excited uh, and feel so much more connected. You see, that's the goal. You can also invite your readers to a, a Facebook group. You, know, you can jump on camera and say, hey, I'm creating a fan club or a book club where I'd really like to engage with you and you're invited. And you know, people love to be invited to things. Invite your readers to a Facebook group where you're you know, asking them questions or you're thinking about the next story you're writing or you know, and engage them in this way. I give you so many, in the Authored Income Formula training, I give you so many ways to engage and generate income that you're just going to be blown away. And this is definitely for both fiction and nonfiction. Okay. Okay, good. I hope that sprinkled some new ideas uh, or in your mind. Okay. Uh, author Lynn says authors can launch a second edition. Absolutely. That is absolutely true. And that, and then that's just with the manuscript and you've, you've updated the manuscripts. Perfect sense. Okay. Diane says, good ideas. However, these seem to apply to self-published books. What if I'm already published and my publisher handles the Kindle book? Yeah, so that I understand because I'm traditionally published as well. So you, this would be really for you to be thinking about your next book. Also, with a lot of times what happens is after you publish your book, nothing happens or you hit number one on Amazon. It's like, what do you do next to create engagement? And during the Author to Income Formula training, I talk about all different ways to market your business and your book and to create different ways to generate income around your book. So you may not be able to use your book to drive traffic, but you can then, what I'm also teaching is uh, how to use social media to drive your readers where you want them to go. So what you need to be thinking about is either a new edition or that you could use everything that you learn into a, a new book. Plus, by the way, just saying, Amazon now has a short reads category. So these books can be short. If you wanted to put something new out and something engaging, um, maybe an offshoot from a book, uh, that's something to think about as well. Okay. Uh, and let me see. Lydia says, book on lightning source. Is it possible to revise with the QR codes? Yeah. I don't know what the rules are with your alternative publishers. So uh, you absolutely, again, do a second edition or talk to them about a second edition or ask them how this might work. Uh, this is why I love Create Space because you can make any changes you want anytime you want and you have 100% control of your book. So just something to think about if you're already you know have a book somewhere and you're thinking about writing maybe a new edition of something else because obviously your publisher is going to want the rights to the new second edition 
But if you're going to maybe to talk or create a new book about something else, then Create Space is an incredible alternative. And by the way, in that bonus, I teach you exactly how to upload everything, how to set up all your settings so that you're totally good to go on your own and you have 100% control of your book and you earn more too. Okay, Lindsay, I did the course and it's wonderful. Yay, Lindsay! Uh, you, she, Lindsay is a graduate of my author to income formula training. I'm doing this as a refresher. You should definitely do the course. You won't regret it. Tomorrow explains things really, really as well, especially for those like me who are not tech savvy. Thank you, Lindsay. That is awesome. Thanks so much. Uh, Janice says, do you keep all of your videos on your website or store them on Amazon or YouTube? So I put my videos, I tend to use uh, YouTube. I put mo almost all of my videos on YouTube, but you definitely could use Amazon S3 or Vimeo, however it's comfortable for you. But I embed for the for the the videos that are included in the book, whether it's a printed book or a Kindle book. I put my uh, my my videos up on YouTube. I take that embed code from the video and I make it unlisted. And I put that video on a page. Each video has their own page on my website. Okay, so that when that reader scans the code, they go to one page, one video, and then you've got like an opt-in with some awesome freebie that they can download. So then you've driven them from your book to the page, they're watching the video, and then you can download the freebie. So uh, it, it works really well. So any of the ones you said work perfectly. Uh, and I've used Vimeo before too, it's just fine. Okay, oh my gosh, we're over time. Okay, I will stay on. First of all, if you have to leave, Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you in the Author to Income Formula training. I hope that you take everything that you learned today and run with it. I wish you the very best. I'm going to stay on and answer the remaining questions, but I just want to thank you so much for being here with me today, and I hope that you found it to be helpful. Okay, so I'm going to keep on going. Uh, uh, Risa says, does your training include how to optimize SEO and keywords and how to top your competitor? Yes, yes, and yes. I have different strategies and tools for finding the best keywords and how to search and use your competitors' categories to your benefit. And so the answer is 100% yes, Risa. And we focus that on that, and I show you every strategy and tool that I have for doing that. Carrie Johnson says, can this be effective for fiction as it is nonfiction? Yes. Uh, and answer that, it absolutely can be used. And also, I have people who have done memoirs and they share your stories. That's something I want to say, too. You can share stories. It's, it's how-to tips. It's, uh, you know, interesting facts or information. It's uh, stories. Like, if you're doing a memoir, I have authors who've done memoirs. They're sharing their heartfelt stories. I've got fiction. I've got mystery authors. I have, they're, they're creating intrigue and, and, you know, getting their, uh, getting their readers really excited or interested in kind of the backstory about their characters. So you can have a lot of fun with this too. Okay. Uh, Stevon says, yes, some of these tech savvy and other non process and steps apply to all types of authors and topics. I am always energized by listening to Mara. She discovers secrets and shares as a win win. You can't lose. Thanks, Stevon. And okay. Any other quick questions? Let me see. And, <clears throat> and Lindsay got her. Yes, Stevon is Dr. Toy. Lin th th yes, she is. Okay, Lindsay got to run. Oh, as always, love your presentation. Great. I'm so glad. And I think that may be it. Okay. I'm signed up for a few months. Okay. And great. Um, would this work for photographs or art? Oh my gosh, Richard, I hope you're still here. Yes, absolutely yes. So I would tell the story behind the art, right? Every piece of art has a story. My mom's an artist. Every piece of story has art, um, ha sorry, every piece of art has a story. Wouldn't it be amazing to have the, um, the artist, whether it's you or other artists, if you're including other art artists as well, to have a two minute video sharing what inspired them to create the art or what, you know, when they took the picture, you know, the photograph, like what, you know, what was in that moment for them or something really compelling or interesting that they could share. Imagine how powerful that would be. I mean, I get excited about that. So Richard, if you're here, I hope that you heard that. 
Okay, uh, Lydia, I know this is subjective depending on book business, but how much in extra expenses will incur by putting these processes in place, like republish, membership site. So there are ways I always teach. Great question, Lydia. I always share the most cost-effective ways to do everything. So I will share like the free ways to do it. Free, minimal cost, and you know more advanced. And so there is something for everyone. I make sure, because I'm always watching my costs too, right? It's part of being a, a smart business person. And so I share all, and because I've also spent way too much money with the wrong tools, getting very frustrated, and then ending up having to switch gears completely. So I have gone through it for you, and I actually share the most efficient, cost-effective tools possible, and I always share if there's a free way to do something, I always tell you how to do it. Okay, uh, Lynn, would a new ISBN be required with all the changes? Uh, no, if you're doing a second edition, I do not believe you'll need to switch your ISBN. It depends on how you do it. We should talk about that. Because if you're just uploading a new file, same ISBN. Uh, if you're doing a second edition, uh, that, you know, Am or CreateSpace, I'm not sure how you're doing it, Lynn, but CreateSpace gives you an ISBN for free. I don't know if you're aware of that, but that is one of the really awesome things about CreateSpace. So just saying that that is a possibility. If you needed an ISBN, CreateSpace will give it to you for free. Okay, um, Adita, I love to connect uh, content tomorrow. Thank you. We'll check out your sales page. Awesome. Thank you so much, Adita. Okay, where do you live tomorrow? You are a fantastic resource. Thank you. I'm in California. I am right outside of San Francisco. Okay, Carolyn. So on the sales page, it has $47 exact emails. So those are not the bonus emails. Those are so okay. What you're looking at is that is my book launch email swipe copy, Carolyn. And that is a totally different thing. That is where I give you my entire book launch emails. And I've turned them into templates where I ask you prompting questions all the way through so that you have all of the emails leading up to your book launch. And they're the same exact emails I've used to hit number one again and again. The th one of the bonuses that you're getting free is the um, self-publishing success secrets, which is how to upload your book to create space successfully. I walk you through the, I share my screen actually. In, in self-publishing success secrets, I share my screen and I walk you through every single step so that you successfully can publish your books on CreateSpace and on Kindle. So it's a diff something different. Okay, so Joan says, one of my books is in print and Kindle format. What would be the best way for op to optimize your suggestions? Thanks for your answering. Uh, yeah, so you could do, I would update them both, right? But if you're just like, you know what? I just want to do the Kindle version. Then do the Kindle version because that's probably going to be really fast and easy, right? Because if you're going to be adding video, you can initially just do the Kindle version. You can launch that, see that kind of using it as engagement. You can definitely do your print version and so that they're both the same, but you could relaunch your Kindle version saying something like enhanced with video. And, and so are videos included or videos inside or something really exciting and relaunching. And, uh, and so that way you can create new engagement. So you could definitely start with one. You don't have to do them both at the same time. You don't even ever have to do one or the other. You can experiment and see if you get this amazing response to your Kindle book and people start saying, Oh my gosh, I love this. I want the printed version of this. Then you'll know, right? So I'd probably pick the easier one first and that will probably be your Kindle book. Doreen. Does Amazon legally allow you to make an offer in your book connecting to an opt-in? Yeah, so you can, I'm really glad you asked this question. You can definitely link to an opt-in in opt-in, opt right? What you cannot do is you cannot include affiliate links from other products and books inside your book. You can create a resources I love page okay, on your website and have all the affiliate links you want in the world from Amazon. And from your book, you'll have a link and it says resources I love or, you know, have a book title or whatever it is that you're talking about in your book. You link to that, that goes to your page and you have your affiliate links on the page, totally fine. What you don't want to do is go generate a bunch of codes, uh, uh, affiliate codes inside of Amazon and put those affiliate links inside your book. That is something Amazon does not 
allow. Okay, does that distinction, is that make clear? I want to make sure that you understand. That's a great question. Okay, uh, Crystal, Crystalia, I, what a beautiful name. I'm sorry if I'm not saying it correctly. Crystalia? Okay, sorry. Uh, you have a name like mine, Tamara. It's hard to, sometimes hard to pronounce. Um, do you create two different versions, one for Kindle without the QR codes and the print version has only the QR codes or can I put them both in the same book? To, okay, great question. What you do is for the printed book, you have QR codes, okay? And all those QR codes are linked to the page on your website that have that video. Your Kindle version does not need QR codes. You do not want QR codes in your Kindle version because your Kindle version is already interactive. Once you put the link to your page on your website where that video resides, you'll say watch video message, you know, watch video message about X, Y, and Z. Then they just click on that link and it takes them directly to the page. So you don't want to add that extra step in your Kindle version with your QR code. That's really the only way to make your printed book interactive is to include a QR code. Okay, does that is that clear? That's a great question. Okay, and anything else? Uh, and working. Okay, thanks so much for. Okay, oh good. Elma says thanks so much for this helpful, inspiring webinar. Okay, great. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody's going. Yay! Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I appreciate all of your wonderful questions. I hope you'll join me in the Author to Income Formula live training. I will be with you eight weeks in a row and walking you through all of these steps. You're going to love it. It's one of my favorite classes. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to type my direct email into the chat. It's Tamara at TamaraMonosoff.com, and that is my direct email. You are welcome to email me with any questions that you have. So I hope this information has served you well, and I look forward to seeing you in the Authored Income Live training. Take good care. Bye.